From the looks of things, we are live, we are live, we are live. You guys, this is Soapbox Heroes. Stay tuned. We're about to be right back. Check out this, check out this testimony in these words and come get with us. We're about to be talking about Amber Geiger and the love in the court. say twice or for the hundredth time what you've or how much you've taken from us I think you know that but I just I hope you go to God with all what, all the guilt, all the thing, the bad things you may have done in the past, each and every one of us may have done something that we're not supposed to do. If you truly are sorry, I know, I can speak for myself, I, I forgive you. And I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. And I don't think anyone could say it. Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not gonna say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see I I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you. Because I know that's, what, that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. And the best would be give your life to Christ. I'm not going to say anything else. I think giving your life to Christ would be the best thing that both of them would want you to do. Again, I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Please? Yes. Hey, you guys, how you doing? How you doing? Look, you guys, my name is Tyrell Nervin. This is Soapbox Heroes. What you had right there was uh, Botham John's brother on the stand talking, giving his feelings. 
given this. I don't know if it was a testimony or just a, a, a character testimony talking about his brother. And as you see, he recited and he said that he didn't want Amber Geiger to go to jail. Subsequently, after he got up, gave her a hug. This hug has been the, um, it's, people have been talking about it, it's been everywhere. And so like, uh, I said, you know, I think we need to talk about this. So I've got some people here and we're gonna talk about the verdict and we're going to talk about the, the impact and people's thoughts on the hug and things going on of that nature. We just gonna see what the people okay. think. You see what I'm saying? So look, right now, who the biggest on my screen? Bobby, Bobby, you the biggest on my screen. Bobby, Bobby Digital. <laughs> what's happening, hey. Bobby? What's up? What's up? What's going on with you, man? Hey, let everybody know. Let them know who you are, real quick. Uh, my name is Bobby Irvin. Uh, I'm up out of Las Vegas. I barely hear you, baby. Right now. Uh, oh. I'm Tyrone's cousin. Uh -huh. I don't have no fun. Just I haven't got any fun yet. My little opinion and my thoughts about it. All right, his little opinion and his thoughts about it. Who else we got on the? Who else we got right here with us? January. Let people know who you are, January. I'm January Angel, residing in Houston, Texas, from Ohio, Columbus. Hey, okay, in H Town, from Columbus, and in January we got a. a, a, a what you say, Jen? I said Buckeye Nation. Buckeye Nation. <laughs> All right. I can dig it in January. She got a blog and a, um, and a podcast coming up too. So you guys make sure you guys go check her out on uh, social media. We're going to get that information too. And then we got the extraordinaire, Greg, who will cut your hair. Greg will cut your hair, your son hair, and you can bring a friend in about 35 minutes. Greg, let the people know. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's Greg the Barber by the LA, Los Angeles, California. Yay, believe it. Believe it. All right, so look, and then we have somebody else coming on shortly. She hasn't had a little bit of fitness, but she's going to jump on with us here in a second. So, but hey, you guys, and, and look, as you guys can see, if you see normally, I'm in a, a, a non disclosed location. I tell you, <laughs> what, you know. Man, you in your garage with a sheet up against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Close to it, very close to it. You know what I mean? But hey, we're gonna talk about this. And so here, let's just crack it up like this. Uh, Bobby, what do you think about the verdict first? Do you think the verdict was fair? What's your take on the verdict? Uh, man, I, I, I feel I feel like uh, how most people in her situation would feel, man. She she won. You know, she got a 10 years uh, uh, verdict for, for, for first degree murder. You know, she don't okay. got no added charges, no nothing else, man. She could do the 10 piece, be out in a couple of years, probably on good behavior and, and, and back in society. You know, I think she mm. uh, I think she won with that verdict. OK, so you think she won with the verdict January. What do you think about it? She first degree murder, 10 years. What do you think about the verdict? Um, I'm, I'm with Bobby. She won. She, she okay. absolutely won. Okay, you with Bobby Digital, she won. Greg, what do, what do you think? She ain't won a motherfucker thing because her fucky ass on her way up the river. Believe that. She's going to go lay down for a few days. And her days is going to be long because that 10 years would have feel like eternity to a motherfucker ain't never been to jail but been put motherfuckers in jail. You can best believe that bitch might hang, that woman might hang herself. Use my mm. language. I'm just saying. Now, okay. I, I feel, I, I, I certainly feel the 10 years could have been a little bit longer, but we got to say we got something because out of all these years, we ain't never got nothing. So we got something. God. God. Well, well, okay. well, you got to remember this too, Greg. She was off duty though, you know what I mean? Most most of the ones, we don't get nothing. They on duty doing it. She was okay. off duty, man. She was, uh, she was and, off duty. But, she, but she was I, off I made duty. A, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think um, was her... Cause when he's sitting on the couch, like, did she have something against him? I really uh, have I'm a, a, I'm a, Okay, I'm gonna so, tell you my theory. I'm gonna give you my right, theory ahead. on this whole situation. Go ahead. I believe because after looking at some of the pictures and videos they showed of him, he like he's an African nigga that like white women. Okay, <laughs> I'm keeping it hundred. I think that man had a, a. I think they went and did some freaking. He was a man of God, and he probably was like, "Hey, listen, this ain't gonna work." This ain't gonna work. 
Nikki, you know, was like, oh, no, this nigga can't call. This is, she can't call. He can't call this off like this. You feel me? She went and had a drink. Had to think about it. And then uh-huh. she went to that motherfucking, uh, she went and, and went to his apartment and, and faked the door was unlocked and walked up in that motherfucker and bust on him. That's what I okay. think happened. I don't that, just think that, that oh, this, I, I, I forgot that this wasn't my apartment. I just walked in and thought he was in too. Yeah, I just That's can't believe that. I, All right, I, hold on, hold on one second, Bobby. Hold on one second, January. Yeah. So, so Greg, but you think yes, that people should be happy because there was we got something. It was something that was happened. Some, she I, didn't get off scot free. She, she didn't get off scot free now. Now she didn't get off scot free because I'm gonna tell you something. There's two things, right? It, it, it's two situ- two parts to this. One, the city of Dallas is gonna have to pay, and they know they gonna have to pay because they got the conviction. Ain't no finna be no old wrongful death lawsuit or not a wrongful death lawsuit. So the family won in both ways. They'll never get their son back. I get that, right? They'll never get the son back. But at the end of the day, this one white woman is on her way to jail, and and they finna get paid. They, they ain't no question. Okay, okay. What, what do you think about that, Bobby? Man, uh, for one, off top, she was under charge. She's supposed to have been charged with a home invasion, burglary, uh, 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 and all the other little accounts that go along with breaking and entering in somebody's house. They just okay, hit yeah, her with yeah. just an outright murder. I know in some states, that was home the invasion self carry 10 years. What was that? See, the, murder was a bigger, the murder was a bigger charge. See, watch this. Watch this. If they would have if they would have hit her with the home invasion, right? He would have got off like R. Kelly in 1998 when he beat the when he beat the child pornography charges. He beat the charges because it was whatever the year it was. See, he beat the child pornography charges because it was child pornography instead of uh, rape, sex yeah, with a minor. Yeah. Well, well, well. I I know one thing about the legal system, man. They they stack up every charge they can get with you. If you go, if I go commit a crime right now. And in the commence of committing that crime, I walk across the street, man. They're going to have a murder charge sitting right next to a, a jaywalking charge. Oh, you better uh, believe it. Yeah, yeah. They're going to have every charge on that booking sheet. And then when it comes down to them sentencing me, they're going to mm-hmm. hit me for, for the jaywalking ticket as, as long and with the murder ticket. You know what I mean? All right, they're going to hit you with everything. But Bobby, Bobby and January, both of you guys, do you guys think that people should be happy because it's something specifically it, it just depends on the person to me everybody's gonna have their own opinion uh, on what they think she should have got based off of how they took the case you know what's yours y'all running from hey, <laughs> what's your hey, hey, hey t i'm gonna tell you yeah. like this man it it's it's uh, uh uh you go look up this and fact check it too now this is with black males and white males. A black male is 20% more likely to get a harsher sentence than a white male under the similarity of the same characteristics with the case. Okay. Now this is a female, so so of course females gonna get more leniency than than a, a, a black man would. That's but, bullshit. Uh, Cause a I, black woman out here, watch this. A black woman, CHP from Los Angeles, California, shot her, shot and killed her husband on a domestic violence on oh, a domestic yeah. violence and got 50 years yeah well, well, well see, this, is what I'm saying. this is a black man and a white man ratio so i'm quite sure the yeah. black man to a white woman or or a black female to a white female is way different in comparison there's another lady right now her name is uh marissa alexander she's on uh, uh you could catch her little thing she was down there in florida Somebody broke into her house. Oh, right now. She let off some warning shots and got a twenty-year. No, that was her. That was her husband. No, 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 no. You're wrong. That's her husband. Yeah, the they, they just what happened. You. All they right, just wait, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. We about to get the meandering real quick, real quick. Y'all still ain't answered the question. Oh, absolutely yeah, they not. Ain't answered. Do you absolutely think that not. people should be happy that there was a no. conviction for that ten years? No. My, my, okay. my thing is, go ahead. Uh, 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 if I, I'll be happy when justice get distributed equally. Mm, okay. That ain't gonna never happen. So, no. so you can forget okay. it. But, but guess that what? ain't gonna never I'm, happen. I'm gonna be an angry man for yeah, a minute. Forever. Man. Forever. Right. Now, January. hold on. What, the, 
Wait, wait, okay. January, what do you think? Do you think that people should be happy that something happened <coughs> instead of them just getting off? Should people be satisfied a little or any at all or, or no? What do you think? I think it's just up to the person and how they view the case and what they're- How you feel? I, I said I feel that she got off. Like she could have gotten okay. no, based off. Hey, should people, hey, so, so, so hey. you're saying, okay, that makes sense. So you're saying that people shouldn't be just happy with what she no, got. No. She, she didn't get enough time. All right, hey, go, go ahead, Greg. No. So now let me, let me say this, right? So, thank you, baby. Appreciate you. Um, so statistics That's shows. Right, <laughs> right. So statistics <laughs> shows. I'm going to read this. Hold on, I'm going to read this thing right quick. Let me find my notes. Oh, he done research. Yes, it is. The statistics show 100, uh, 106 off-duty officers have been, no, no, uh, 106, I don't know if they was on-duty or off-duty, but 106, I got off, 106 off-duty officers arrested over fatal on-duty shootings only, wait, no, so that's how I go, go 106, 106 officers have been arrested over fatal on-duty shootings, and only four have been convicted of murder since 2005. Wow, so and that's a no, no, no. Hold on, that's on the FBI's. That's that's okay. That's on that's on. I forgot what list that was, but they said that's not even on the FBI calculation list. So it could be more out there. So we got a conviction for one out of 106. That mm. is me. Yeah. That, that, that is, that's, that's why she was supposed to get a thousand years, Greg. <laughs> no, he, he, he might should have got he, thirty years. She might should have yes. got 30. She might should have got 50. She could have got 100. It don't make me no difference. The whole got convicted. Look, it's look, when you look at the facts of the case, man, she committed a burglary. She broke and entered into this man's house, well, committed a home invasion. Well, you can't and, say that. It, it, well, well, I mean, the evidence points. She broke into that house. No, no, no. With the we, now, now, being that With I'm a criminal, the being that I'm a criminal, when you're yeah. breaking and entering, when you're breaking and entering, you got to have burglary tools. He had a key. He falsely had hey. a key. All right, hold on, you hey. guys. Rova, that key did not fit that right. slot. Who you talking to, Rova? Hear me. Hit, leave it in the comments. Let me know who you talking to. Who got the facts wrong? Go ahead, Bobby. What were you going to say? And then I'm going to ask that, you that, that, that in a second, but go that ahead. That key didn't fit into that door. So she forced her entry in there, right? Right. There, there, there right. was no forced entry. There was no forced entry. How, how did the she get in? Open. The it door, they said the door, the door was open. So there was no well, forced well, entry. So that's why the burglary well, couldn't stick. Well, well, look, look. See, I, I'm in a different state, so I know every every state got their own little laws. But I'm in a state where if you walk into a, a any place, if I walk into a store and commit a crime, and this store got a, a, a sliding door that as soon as I walk up, it opens up for me. But if I go in there and commit a crime, that is called a burglary. She went into mm. that man's house and committed burglary for as far as the state I'm in. Okay, now, look, right I, here. I don't know, look, I, I don't know how Texas go, but I know Texas she went into of, another I, person's I house you, and committed a crime. I say it to you like this, Texas is one of the worst states. So let's let's make that clear. I don't know. We, I don't know about that because they live got a history, got a history motive not working. Bomb. What you say, January? You in Texas? What you say? I said Texas ain't it ain't the worst no more because these motherfuckers is letting off people murderers off low ass I, bonds and letting them out to commit other crimes. Like they not <laughs> they're the charges ain't sticking and shit down here. So I wouldn't say that. Yeah, well, we know that that motherfucker. Well, we, we gonna say well, we gonna say this. We gonna know that that we know that that motherfucker was one of the worst in states. Let's okay. say that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Here, let, hey, me, let me interject this real don't quick. Don't stick that needle in your arm quick, right? Oh, real quick. Look, Dimples Honey says people uh, people with manslaughter get more than that sometimes. Let's see what Absolutely. else we got down here? Absolutely. Mark, you are the people. I, I I know somebody. I know somebody with a vehicular manslaughter, and he got a twenty year sentence. Robot so, said, so "Oh the, boy, with the burglary." He talking to you, Bobby. He said, "You got to get your facts straight." What, 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 what's up? Says, what, what? Wasn't no damn burglary? That's what I'm saying. It wasn't a burglary. Not a burglary. Stock it. Okay. 
What is what it well, was? It was tr it, we gonna say what? It, well, I was just gonna say what it was was a guaranteed trespassing. Trespassing is a misdemeanor. That's so, a misdemeanor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they couldn't hit her with a trespassing. Burglary is when you break in, when you when you force entry. Okay. Okay. See, see, out, out here it's not like that, but you know, like I say, in every state is different, right? But yeah. hey, let me ask y'all something too. But Go ahead, didn't, they, didn't they say he was? Didn't they say he was sitting on the couch? So I'm like, what is she? What is she like? What startled her so much that she just felt like she needed to shoot him? It wasn't just. Didn't they say he was just sitting on the couch? He was. He was sitting at the table, and he was, I guess, facing the door. I guess when he got shot, he was on his knees. He ended up being on his knees. She she walked to the door. She said that she heard something inside. And so um, she made her way inside. And she shot him. It wasn't a whole bunch well, of. Well, we go. We, well, we gonna say this. We know white people go in some of the dangerous, some of the most dangerous places, as dumb as they possibly can be. So she, we gonna say a white person. She was scared to death, no matter what it was. So she shot the nigga. Let's say that we'll never get the truth because the man that was there is dead and gone. So we'll never get the truth. So yeah, you, so Greg, sure. just, so Greg, to be fair, real quick, because I asked them and I, I asked based off of your question, but just to get a great question answer from you. You think that we should be happy or people should be okay with what she got once, because once, some people don't get nothing? Once again, I believe that we got to be at least a lightweight happy that she at minimum got convicted because at the end of the day, George Zimmerman is at home walking free. Okay? And that wasn't even no police officer. And she was tried, and he was tried in Florida based on the stand your ground law. Now, right, this white the woman doctorate in Texas. Exactly. So this white woman has killed somebody, right, on the grounds of fear. Okay? On the grounds of fear that she feared for her life. Now, she's a big black she man. Now, because she couldn't possibly prove it, mind you, it was five African Americans on the panel of the uh on the jurors. The jury. So, on the jury, five African Americans. So, I don't think that they were absolutely going to let this walk away. That's just like, again, O.J. Simpson. They had to lock O.J. black ass up in Las Vegas because they was tired of O.J. shit, okay? O.J. got off of killing them people, so they say, and they, 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 that's what they say. They say he killed them. So then they, But they got took off. him to jail for taking back his own shit. <laughs> exactly. So the they O.J. got off. They get him later. Exactly. So hey, you, you pay later. Look. So we got some we got somebody that just popped in on us. Hey, we got hay down in the corner. <laughs> so we got so 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 the Georgia the George Zimmerman, Zimmerman situation, they got off. Um okay. the Tamir Rice situation, they got off. Uh the, the the what's the lady name um down where in Louisiana? Or where was that that she uh, got uh, killed? Said he was on PCP. No, no, no. The the, the black lady the, that got the, killed in the car in a car in a police station. Sandra? Sandra Bland, Sandra Bland, Sandra Bland, Sandra Bland, oh, Sandra Bland, Bland people Sandra got Bland. off. Sandra yeah. Bland, people what's got off. Uh, the what's the one when she said uh, she pulled the dude over and said he was high on PCP? That's why she killed him. So basically, a lot of officers, basically a lot of officers, has gotten off. This All one right. ain't got off. So okay, we gonna here. get something. Okay, let me let me catch up. Let me catch our new guest up. New guest, it say hey yeah. in, your, in your box. And just for an anonymity. I forgot that it still just says, hey. So, so, hey, introduce yourself. Let everybody know who you are. Hi, I'm Bobby. Maybe it's because of my email address. It's hey, right on Bobby G. But hi, I'm Bobby. Writer, screenwriter, producer. Writer, screenwriter. I've been trying to get her to help me with some stuff. Yeah, it's like chasing a ghost. Boy. But, hey, no, I'm just busy, fam. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here. Bobby, look, let What's me up? catch you up. Let me catch you up real quick. So, um, <laughs> the Amber Geyser trial, and I'm sure you, um, you're abreast of what's been going on. Do you think that the amount of time she got was fair? Oh, absolutely not. That's no. The ten okay. years is not a fair sentence. Ten years, you are not. You, I mean, it's it's. You kind of think it in the way of a life for a life. In ten years, what would she be in her forties? Yeah. She can go back and probably get um right back on I me. Mean, I don't know what that looks like for her life after as far as law enforcement. 
Maybe they just give her clerical work. She'll never work. get another law enforcement job. She'll never get a job like that again. Job, whatever, but she, she got I know she could still take her ass back out. Because first of all, it's not going to be a full 10 years. It's likely not, not. going to be a full 10 years. Okay. She's going to do then, two so and a half in Texas. Pardon? She gonna do two and a half in Texas jail. She gonna get uh, she gonna get parole. She gonna get motherfucking um, what's that? She gonna get another year in 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 um, what's that? The halfway house. Then she gonna be on another three years of probably home confinement. Oh, she's stuck so like a truck. Still, she gets... That's still her being in her thirties as somewhat yeah. free because being paroled um or being on probation as a white American doesn't look the same, apparently, as when you're on probation as a black American. And so, no, she is Whoa. getting, this is, this is, to answer the question of fairness, it's a cakewalk. Um, okay. But if I'm to expound on that and to say why we don't need to, you know, high five and chest bump over 10 years, I likened it to someone owing me a debt. And so if I, pay, if I loaned you $10,000, and we agreed that when you reimburse me, you, re you reimburse me in full. Okay. And then you come okay. to me saying, oh, here's a, here's a thousand. Yeah, I'll take your thousand dollars because you owe me that. But we're not about to, I'm not going to send you a thank you letter. We're not hugging after this. You still owe me nine thousand dollars. Correct. Okay. And so and, uh, while we can look at this like, okay, sure, she could have been acquitted. This could have gone terribly wrong. We could be mad. We can look, we know that. We're cognizant of that, but do we need to? I don't think we are. Media and this, oh, thank God, because this could have been worse. No, we can be a straight face and say we. It's about staying on code. We can keep a straight face, like they can keep a straight face, and look at that shit and be like, "That's not good enough." Absolutely. Okay. Do I just one second. Not happen again. All right, and here I'm gonna catch you all the way up, Bobby, and then next, Back, hey. and then next we were talking, and and, and Greg said that. People should be happy because, like I was alluded to a second ago, oftentimes people get away without anything happening, so it's a small victory. So to catch you all the way up, do you agree with that? No, I don't. If I am see, being mistreated, now at see all, you tripping, hey, you tripping, hey, Bobby. <laughs> but if I am not, if I am so, no, in the same vein in the same vein that I will not tell a woman because your husband beats you less, because you are being raped less, violated less, I don't steal from you as often. You should be happy. I could, right. I used to hit your house every single day, but I've tried to walk a straight and narrow. So now I only, I now only rob you when I need money. You are welcome. That's mm. not, I don't need to be happy. And that's the awkward <clears throat> word. I don't need to show appreciation for you giving yeah. me the treatment that I deserve. No, I don't I, let me make something that. I will acknowledge to myself. I, that I'm not. No, the, the word was happy. No. Okay. Let me make it clear. Let me, let me, well, let me make this clear. I'm not saying we happy. I'm not saying we happy for the time she got. No one is happy for 10 years. Nobody's happy about that. I'm happy and cool with she got convicted because that goes against her record at the minimum. At the minimum, she's going to jail. Like I just pointed out, in the last five years, seven African Americans have been killed by on-duty police officers, and they all have been white, and none of them oh, have been found guilty. you're not going to get me guilty. to stay on record that I'm cool with it or any positive well, don't, word. Well, don't, well, don't, don't, say it, well, don't say it behind closed doors. Why not? No, I'm saying this is about being yeah. on code. So between, so in the same way that when I enter a room with another black person, another black woman, and we're the only two black people in the room, we don't say to each other, oh, bitch, thank God, it's just another black person. We don't say that out loud. We look at each other. We smile. You know what's going on. And we keep it, we keep it cute. We keep it moving. Same with one black man to another, one black person to another. Do it politically. We don't need Jeez. to all of this where we got to just throw our hands up in the air and let everybody know publicly what's going on in our heads. We, I know. I'm aware. Because I'm gonna tell, I, know, I, I know them white folks is high-fiving somewhere. I know them white folks is high-fiving somewhere. Like, ooh, God damn it. Luckily, this whole got 10 but, years. We hey. thought we was going to get off. You know what I'm saying? Look, right? 
You you know they did that with the Zimmerman. He uh auctioned that gun off for what like a hundred and something thousand dollars. That's what I'm I'm trying to explain to you, man. So, so it, what do it, we need hurts. to show gratitude for? Is my question. What do we need? To we need to show gratitude. We need to we need to show gratitude. Okay, we need to show gratitude and be thankful that in five years, to who? after seven, listen to ourselves as African Americans that in five years after seven people lives have been taken by police officers. On Officers, white police officers that that has killed these people. That we got one, and this is a message. We have, now, wait, what? Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. We're showing gratitude. I feel that we're showing gratitude. I'm saying, I'm saying, we. I think we should do it to ourselves, right? And say, okay, this is a message because to I me, I just said that. I said I don't need to go on Facebook though, high fiving and saying, oh, thank the Lord, she got something. No. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this just like I told somebody else. I believe that this is a message being sent. To all police, that if you kill, harm, or hurt someone without no business doing it, you will be tried and convicted. Because no. a lot of them haven't no. even been tried. Some you of them haven't tried even been tried and convicted, and you will get oh, the minimal time. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. You you on hold on, let's do this. Let's let Bobby chime in, and then let's let quick. January chime in. We got, uh, sure. we got Bobby like calling. What? What you say, Bobby? I like the name January. I think that's dope. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Thank you. So let's let Bobby chime in. Let's let January chime in. And then we're going to switch it up just a little bit. Of course, we're going to stay on topic, but we're going to enter in something else. Something else. Uh, really quick, just, just really quick. Let me tell you one thing really quick, yeah. Tyrone. The, right, the, go ahead, the, Greg, the, and then jump in, Bobby, in January. Go ahead, Greg. The, young, the, the white lady that, we, that y'all was talking about with the, that killed the guy that when she thought it was on PCP was down in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we know Tulsa, Oklahoma is a hang you state too. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, Greg. Yes, sir. This is what I'm saying. We know she will, she will be prosperous from this, from this situation, most likely behind all the- Get her book deal on. Yeah, yeah, she's she gonna- that in the she, comments. He she, said she'll she get a book deal on, in the movie. Hey. Movies, she's gonna be on Dr. Phil, she's gonna get all kind of endorsements. Her books account gonna be lovely. And she I'm gonna tell you to... what, okay, What's and that? guess what happens? And guess what happens if her attorneys, which is the black man that handled the George Zimmerman case, if he is smart and they're smart, just like OJ is booked for the rest of his life, she'll be booked for the rest of her life because you got to learn how to sue a motherfucker. So every time you touch some money, it's coming to me. Yeah, and, and well, you guys, I enjoyed I your thoughts, January. Thank quick. you for sharing with us. <laughs> Share, you guys, share, you guys, share if you're watching. Help some people know what we're doing. Go ahead, January, jump in. Um, what is the question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing. Well, I, well I, was just, I, was just, I was just catching Bobby up on what was going on, and she was talking about how she don't think that it should be, like, celebrated in public. It shouldn't be something that people are, like, cheering for a life of victory, you know, like that's off code. And so I was saying if you had wanted to pick up on that um i definitely don't think that i'm as it's worth sharing and being like you know <laughs> yay she got 10 years um nah. i mean like i mean we're gonna have opinions and everybody's gonna have their own opinion but i don't think it's something that we should be slapping fives about um i understand a little bit about what greg is saying as far as him saying that um, you know, people may, you know, that she got, she got something. It may not have been a lot, but since she got something that they may think twice before doing certain stuff, I mean, we just have to see how the future grows. Yeah, with that, right. see if it's a that's slap on the wrist. Yeah, it is. Or they could but, think I mean, it. It's not about thinking twice. They could think, because they, they, they are not a stupid race of people. They're like, okay, sometimes there's going to be a sacrifice. And that sacrifice will be a couple of years of your life. So, I don't know. Let's just say a hundred. Hey, one out of a hundred well, of us will get caught. Hey, hey Bobby, that sound like that sound like a setback for a major comeback. You know what I mean? <laughs> she gonna go sit down for a few years, and she gonna yeah, come one of out. Us. Do and it's gonna be, it's gonna oh be yeah, her money. friends, well, her friends and stuff gonna take care of her. She ain't gonna really have to do. Yeah. Oh, not her friends. Her not even her friends gonna take care of her. The white community hey. is gonna take care of her. Something well, yeah, that the hey, black community ain't hey. gonna do. So hey, that's what we need to be thankful for. 
Look, hey, look, let's do this. And we're gonna get man. to we're gonna get For to real. that question. We're gonna get to that question too, Bobby G, about being thankful here. Let me read a couple of these just so yeah, we can uh, hey, stay yeah. in touch with hey, the people. Hey, hey, cuz you gonna have to do the Bobby E, Bobby G or whatever, man. Bob, yeah, that's why I said Bobby G. Um let's see. <laughs> Oh, let's it's see, always another see. Bobby. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's a beautiful name, right? I agree. Look, Gre Greeland says, hmm. Sharon Spence says, she was off duty, though. They don't even consider it the same in, in sure. She's saying, I'm sure. Yeah. She, was, she was off duty. It shouldn't be considered the same. Yeah. Um, let me cool. see. Joseph Daniels, yeah, what's up with you, Joseph? Joseph says, oh, she's going to get Botox, breast implants, hell, a new booty. And love her and love and live her best life. All right, don't Absolutely. you know? like do a um, reality show out this mug? Um, oh, man. She ain't gonna life do. after incarceration. <laughs> Greg said black. that's what she ain't gonna do. <laughs> Talia no Marie says, says, shit, bad cops might be mad. She was found guilty and really start profiling us 10 times worse. Uh, mm. yeah. that's okay. that's hey, 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 I'm gonna tell you a story real fast, T. Uh, uh, I, I, I had a little time when I was going to court back and forth, right? It's a judge out here. Uh, uh, I forget her first name, but her last name Zimmerman. The week that, uh, 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 the other Zimmerman was going to trial, she mm -hmm. sat in the courtroom and said, since my, my, uh, family, so I got a cousin that's being, uh, 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 tried right now. Anybody in my courtroom expect to get maxed out. So that's, a, that, that's something that they do too is, uh, Feel when they wow. get punished, they about to issue out a punishment. Okay, look, in one of the yeah. comments, Joseph Daniel says he says right. Even the judge hugged her ass, shaking my head. And so speaking of that, I want to show this. You guys see what's on the screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a little hey, she like she grabbed her hair. Yeah, I, and so right she here, and this this is a lot of what people are talking about. So we have her brother giving Amber Geiger a hug, he's embracing her. We have the judge embracing Amber Geiger, and we have one of the courtroom appointed uh, police officers. So uh, what is that, the deputy? And they're all black. And they're, they're all black. They're all black, and they're all, and, and the deputy is stroking her hair. So first, and let's go in order. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the judge last. Let's talk about the brother and let me start with you, January. And we started and we opened, we opened with the brother testifying, saying how he forgave her and he didn't want her to go to jail. And you know, you heard what he said. What do you think about the brother's embrace of her? Um, I mean, people handle things differently. Um, I'm not gonna say that um, I would have handled it that way. Um, a little confusing part about me was how much they hugged. Like, I mean, they like hugged and they stopped. I'm they telling you, the brother was fucking her. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> the older brother done got that pussy and tried to break up with her and he mad. And she got mad. I'm trying to tell y'all. But Greg, why would he want to embrace her because of that? Because he's the old, because, because because the older brother already got that. that. That's why he said, I know what my brother would have wanted. Because he knows his brother. But I thought they ruled sister. that out, that they didn't know each other. Man, listen, that is all cap, okay? It's all cap. Hey, because uh, somebody also wrote in them comments up there that uh, that um, she made previous complaints on him with the okay. apartment uh, okay. management. All right, and see, anything we read, we're going to have to end up checking somehow and figuring it yeah, out. So, so, uh, so let me ask you know. this, Bobby. What do you think about the embrace of her brother? Do you think, because I've, I've read some people say that he shouldn't have done it. And I've seen some people say he should. I noticed in the news, like the media, they saying how courageous and forgiving it was. And I've seen other people say, bump all that forgiveness. What do you think about the brother? Let's stay on that real quick. And so to that, I would just like to point out how amazing it is uh, that they figure out how to highlight us in the media when we're docile. And so, of hey, course, really quick, they would discuss that hey look we can kill them and the way they understand jesus makes them un embrace us like we are not in any trouble still all of this brutality later 
apparently my, my, their Jesus tells them to just just wait and and love some more and love all their pain away. Turn the other cheek. Turn the That's other cheek. That's why. With me, if the, some people just to me, Christian. the hug was extra <laughs> AF. Extra, uh, okay. It was unnecessary. You are able, because I've been assaulted more than I would like to in my lifetime. For my own peace and for my own sanity, I had to forgive. Yes, I do believe in forgiving those despite or regardless of someone's atonement with you. Absolutely. Despite if someone has right has righted their wrongs for my own peace i've had to let go of a lot of stuff that doesn't mean i'm calling somebody up or or we're going on a picnic date so they can know that i forgive them i i forgave them between me and god i let it go i don't dwell on it i'm not wishing an ill fate upon them i let it go but they will not have the satisfaction of my kind spirit without atoning with me. You get to have that sort of peace when you have made, when you have atoned with me. Other than that, it's between you and the God you serve, if you serve any God at all. And that's none of my business. And so, the problem with the hug is that it gets held as, as the Christian thing to do when it's not necessarily the Christian thing to do. You do, you are required to forgive as a Christian. But this other stuff, this is how, this is how Masters taught Christianity to keep their slaves obedient, to keep right. us from, to keep them, excuse me, from bucking up. Okay. It is All not right. biblical. And so okay. I think the gesture, and well, and maybe he's just misguided. I'm not even saying, oh, you coon ass nigga. Maybe he's misguided. I grew up in a private school system, definitely learning Christianity in the way that they would want me to understand it, not what is in the Bible. Right. Okay. Okay. And I, I and I hear you, and you make some some very valid points. Let me see what um let me see what Bobby E got to say. And I got to remember the the G and the E. <laughs> the G is for is for get him. Bobby get him, and the E is for Earth thing. Bobby Earth thing. Get him. What, what you what you think, Bobby? The, about the hug and the brother, I want to dissect them separately because you know they can all be taken in different ways. So, but on the brother, what do you think about the brother's embrace of Amber Geiger? Uh, uh, I think the brother, he probably, I think he did it more so for himself. But uh, yeah, it, 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 people get a lot twisted with the forgive and forget, forgive and forget. That's something that with sympathy and empathy, I, I, I. I might sympathize with you, but I'm not empathetic towards you. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what he was going through, but I sympathize with him that uh, he, he probably don't want that burden on his heart. But at the same time, he's he a stronger man than me because uh, I, I, I would have slid up on her and did something totally different. She killed my brother, right? So so he's a strong man for that. And... and, and I don't think we should uh, uh, hold him accountable for his actions because uh, of what he did, but that's something that uh, uh, I believe we have to, as a people, realize that uh, 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 what you do in the public's eye can affect m most people, a lot of people. So like uh, the other Bobby was saying, they might just look at it like, you know what? I kill one of them, get a 10 year sentence, and, and, and I'll be out in a few years. I'll be a multi millionaire behind all the endorsements and all the other little accolades I get off of it. She's about to make more money off of this than she did with her whole job, probably. Right? Uh, so, you know how much support she has? You know how much support Zimmerman had? And he was uh, all the way wrong? So, so, she got so, all, I mean, we're not just talking about the boys in blue that support her. You know how many people are disgusted that this even went to trial? That are huh? really willing to just flood her GoFundMe. Absolutely. Right. We so, out here can't so even that, start so, a small business so that, on a five K loan, and she out huh? here getting huh? six figures because she got a sad because she shouldn't have to go through this. So, so by him doing that, the brother by him doing that in court, 
her her sponsors endorsements just raised that much more because people will look at her like even the Vic family sympathizes with her. See, the uh, hug had nothing to do with the sentencing or nothing. That hug was simply for him to say, I forgave my brother's killer, but he'll never forget it. Uh, but but now everybody's going to sympathize with her that much more because he just humanized the demon. That that lady's the devil. And you okay. just the rest of us look devil. like just bitter assholes like we always look like. Look at black people always looking to be mad. Hey, what about the mad. judge? Look what about them. the judge giving him, um, giving her the Bible and reading a verse as well? Oh, look, the judge is being look, paid judge, by the is, is endorsed by one of the police unions. So first of right, all, we're, we're, we're going to talk about the judge. We're going to talk about pocket. the judge soon. I'm trying to unpack this person by person because it's all different yeah. little, you know, segments of what happened. Okay, so January, let me get your thought about the hug coming from uh, Botham John's brother. How do you feel about that? I answered uh, that. Yeah. You answered it? I, I was yeah, the first we all, one. We all ran through that. We all okay, ran through okay. That. Well, everybody ran through it? And so I'm over yeah. here trying to see if That question got ran through. through. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Aaron Hicks says he didn't sympathize. He forgave her. Okay. No, no, no. The, t tell him this. What I mean by sympathize. Can hear you? Every, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, send his message to me real fast. No, everybody that sees that hug has that much more sympathy for. Her, so he made it the the uh, uh her supporters more sympathetic for her by him showing that grace in himself. That was a, a public display with himself that just embellished. Her whole, her whole uh, 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 career after this. You know what I mean? Because now the media and everybody else is say, you know what? If he forgave her and if he went to go hug her, oh, they're going to wave their hands to the whole situation. I mean, they don't really realize he probably hugged her because uh, 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 of the spirit within him. You know what I mean? It, 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 I don't think he hugged her to tell her, oh, oh, what you did was okay, because what she did was not okay. But at the same time, uh, uh, Bobby, it makes he it told her he that didn't want her to go to jail. Hard. He said, I don't well, want you to go to jail. That was my hey, yeah. hey, because That's not I, 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 I personally know some people who, if they go kill somebody and get a 10-year sentence, they're going to go back to the cell and do a murder man dance. They're going to be happy. They like, I'll, I'll be out in 10 years, uh, uh, good behavior and all that other stuff. But she's going to have a career after this. This going to propel her in life regardless now. And Did now. You say, a, you say a murder man's dance? Yeah, the murder man. I'm, I'm just <laughs> checking. Like I'm, I'm just hey, checking. Yeah. Look, look yeah. Alan, <laughs> Steppen, Alan Steppen says, first of all, I love all my Christian brothers and sisters. But there's a difference between forgiveness and stupidity. In dealing, uh, dealing with this case scenario, it is crossing a very, very thin line. All right? Look, yeah. Be yeah. Because he, he Actually, made I don't it even know if like the line is even that thin. All right? And, and hey. Talia Marie says, and forgiveness is only going to go so far. Gerard Spence says, shit, I wouldn't. LOL. Hey. All right. So look. Hey, hey, right. hey. So now, let me ask you this. Go ahead. He hugged her before he, she got sentenced, right? The brother hugged. She was already yeah. found guilty, but she wasn't sentenced yet. She wasn't that sentenced. Was a, that was so, actually an impact on her sentencing. That's what that on was. The jury. Impact statement. Okay. On the jury. Now look, you go commit a crime and your victim's family go. I'll never get over this. I want you to do the rest of your life. I think they should put a needle in your arm. The jury's going to be more empathetic or sympathetic to the victim's family. But by you doing this stuff before she even gets sentenced, they be like, you know what? I don't have a problem with her. I for sure don't have a problem with her. Let's she ain't that she kill my brother. Okay, great. Okay, so listen. <laughs> I'm back. He listening. Oh, and yeah, he, he cut five. Look, he cut three heads and got in the car 
before we can even get to the next topic, the boy good. And he on point. Go ahead, Greg. Hey, man, it's your turn, too, man. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead, Greg. So, listen. So, what, I, forgot, I forgot what was the question part of it. The question is, how do you oh. feel about her brother embracing Amber Geiger and giving her a hug after he got done testifying or giving his statement? Okay, so first of all, right, we all got to know that, and I'm assuming this because I wasn't there and I don't know this, but I'm just going to assume the way that hug was, it was a tight hug, that they knew each no, other. There you go. Okay? <laughs> that they knew each other. The brother, the oldest brother was boinking the white lady, and he, when he stopped boinking the white lady, the white lady, he had evidence on the white lady about something, and the white lady went, went viral, went tripping. Okay? So that was, I feel, I feel one thing we got to understand, they two Christians. You know, some Africans and some people is just way too Christian and way too motherfucking. I'm sorry if you get it. And you know, us as black people, we are worst enemies. So we all that is all fucked up. We are worst Absolutely. motherfucking enemies. So he got up and gave that woman a hug at the kid of his brother when he should have choked the bitch out. Excuse my language. But he should have hey. grabbed her by the motherfucking throat. At the and minimum, he gave her an uppercut. Okay. And when he should have just he should have did a Mortal Kombat and finished her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but he didn't. Excuse me. Was it right? Was it hey, right? Judge, judge, now, 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 Greg, Greg, you serious about you saying God like me? And Aaron just said, I thought we were serious. You serious about you think they knew each other? You mean this, I right? I, I, because let me explain something to you. First, it's two you things that we all got to know. It, it's two things that we all got to know. If you drunk, you ain't even finna walk up in nobody's house. You ain't even finna walk to your own motherfucking house drunk. So the the she didn't say they don't know if she was drunk. They, she never said she was under no type of influence. They never brought that up. So being drunk, if she was drunk, we she wouldn't have went up no four flights of stairs. Okay, that's number one. Number two, ain't you ain't gonna accidentally go into nobody motherfucking house. Okay, so we're gonna they go all that. They said she had a drink, Greg. She said she had a drink. He had a drink. Well, and, well and she, she wasn't carrying a gun. Well, drunk, she, huh? Well, she wasn't drunk because if I'm drunk, when I pull up in the driveway, I'm going to give me 45 minutes up in the, in the car. You understand me? I can't even uh, make it to the front door if I'm drunk. Uh, so we know she wasn't drunk. They was boinking, and she wanted to down a nigga because he was seeing somebody else. Greg, look, you're not alone either. Look, Donnell, Donnell Thomas, what's up, Donnell Thomas? You guys got to watch their show. They do a sports show, and it's, it's dope, too. <laughs> I so, totally you know what I'm saying? Shit, shit just was, it, it wasn't cool, but you know, it, 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 the forgiveness part, I get that part. But you, you're doing too much motherfucking forgiveness, nigga. you making us look bad. You understand so you're saying, me? So you hey, saying it wasn't cool. We ain't, we ain't, uh, I don't know. That, I don't... That, that forgiveness part played a role in the sentencing part. He had, he had a, he had a, he gave her like five hugs in a row. Some intimate yeah. hugs too. I, like, I feel right. like he smelled her hair or something. He gave they her a little hug. He well, was here. In his ear. Let me ask you yeah. this, Bobby. Bobby G. We'll start with you, Bobby G. I was like, I was. Please. I don't know. <laughs> what is the um the bailiff that's rubbing her hair after sentencing? Is that something that you think? Have you ever seen that in? Court history. I've ever? never seen that in court ain't history. None of them pe- ain't none of them people black. I don't black. know either what difference black, it made. And they- that was some. That looked like some house nigga shit. Like on some real shit. Like I did, man. That's what I'm saying. Man. We are our worst. En- black people is our worst enemy. Them black folks up there just made us look bad. They ain't representing hey. the black people. The motherfuckers ain't representing hey, you know us. What? Hey, you know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. They in Texas. To- if, if all that was orchestrated, especially by the uh, the bailiff and the judge, oh, with, well, you with know, all the little sympathy they were showing. You know, the two that was highly vetted. Yeah. One, like I said, hey. is endorsed. The judge ahead, is endorsed Bobby by G. the police union. Yeah, she's in, she's in, she's endorsed. The judge is endorsed by the police union, and she's hey. also sorority sisters with the, the chief of police in Dallas. And so hey, they're hey. also down south. We're down south, so you know that's. I was just, I was just about to say that the down south, the down south love is different than the California love because I'm gonna tell you something. You know, down in Texas, especially like it takes stuff like that. I've noticed when I've been there. You know, the black men like the white women, and the white women like the black men. Out here, yes, yeah, a cool thing, whatever. We ain't tripping if we knock one, we knock one. It's not no big deal. But like that shit is a big uh, biracial shit that's going on out there. So you know, the love and the the I'm sorry shit goes a long different way out here. Shit, they would have choked the shit out that white woman. 
They're really nice from? in Texas. They're I miss really that nice in Texas compared to like up north in California where I'm from, Ohio. Like we're we're really mean down here. Like since right. I moved down, so here, yeah, we're really mean. Here, they're like so nice, like uh, like unbelievably nice for real. Oh like, no, they, they trying to like, they can't help you pump your gas. How you doing? Okay, good. All right, look, look, I done had enough of you guys talking about Texas. All right, you know, look, all right. I'm in Texas. Y'all about to just talk about Texas. Y'all I'm about. in Texas but look, too. <laughs> I know, but you look, you 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 better better watch out. Tell her, Bobby G, she talking bad about the turf. I didn't I'm talk like, bad. I, I said, I, mean, I, no. I, said I, love it. <laughs> I said, I love it. I said, they're so nice down here. I like living here. But I'm saying, right. the north, they're much meaner. You know, so maybe that's just how they are down here. It's how I just feel like, I mean, I don't, that's nothing normal I've ever seen, but shit. Okay, let me ask you guys this. With, and, and sticking on the bailiff or the deputy, whatever her proper title would be, do you guys think that people would have reacted differently to that if it was a white lady, a white bailiff rubbing her hair like that or or comfort comforting, um, you know, making her feel better? Her 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 like in my opinion, in my opinion, it would have all been bad in the whole situation because there's never been in a judicial system as long as I've been going back and forth to court and I'm in my late thirties and I've been in court a lot of times. I ain't never seen a motherfucker rub nobody. A nut, they hook, cover your right. ass up, snatch you, calling you the fuck up. You going in the back. Let's go. That's right. The fuck it. And you ain't getting no motherfucking water. You, you can swallow your spit. You can get no We don't give a fuck. Okay? Right. All that, that being nice. And I ain't, only thing I ever heard the judge ever say nice when they put your ass in jail is good luck. <laughs> Motherfucker, good luck. Bitch, I got 180 days in the county jail. What the fuck you mean? Hey, Bobby she'd have, hey, off the motherfucking, well, she'd have come off the podium, get this woman a long hug, get this woman a real scripture. Baby, I need you to read all of John. Now, if anybody read John, you know John is a long motherfucking Bible in the Bible. <laughs> Bobby G, so were you going to say John. something? I don't even remember now. <laughs> Bobby E, were hey, you going to say something? I was going to say, I was going to say, say go ahead, Bobby G, go ahead. It would have made at least it would have made sense had it been a white bailiff. We would have been. It wouldn't have made no sense either. It would have been one of those. Mm, okay, okay. So you just gonna rub her hair like that, Bethany? Okay, bet. But okay. Seeing, I gotta go off for a second. I call y'all in a minute. Do it. Seeing the black bailiff do it, it's like you just want to. How are you serious? For what? Right. What do you? What do you have to prove right now? Right, yeah. and, and that's, that's can, sort of I'm my sorry. Can you just can question. for everybody that's on on uh uh that's locked in right now? Can you please just be professional? I don't care if this is your literal home girl. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's the part. Are you just to break, you know, so-called character like that. Right. Wait a minute. Can you this be after hours? Can you be like, damn, bitch, they really convicted you? Can you say that after? <laughs> Even if yeah. this is your hunger, your ace boon or whatever. And, 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 and to be real with you, that's probably what you saw is uh is that 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 bailiff or whatever her job is, that, that lady's a cop. They they all work at the same department. So you know what I mean? When she went up and rubbed her, it was like a that was her home girl, you know what I mean? That was that was emotional support for for your partner, you know what I mean? She probably donating to the funds too to uh, uh help her. <laughs> Do you, do you guys think that that's going to attribute to show her treatment once she's um confined in jail? It, no. Is she going to get treated by the so. beta and, and maybe the CEOs better? Well, they said with her, they oh, said with her, so the police officer, they'll probably have her away from uh, the rest yeah, of the Yeah, she's going to be in PC. She's going to be in PC regardless. But, yeah. but just because now she's a cop, who committed a crime that uh, was uh, a, a, a pretty much a forgivable crime. You know what I mean? She didn't really do too much harm because even the family then forgave her and hugged her and all of this. The, the judge showed compassion. The victim family showed compassion. The, uh, the bailiff lady showed compassion. You don't think the CO's going to show some compassion? She she gonna be the hottest topic up in the jail. And one thing about them COs, they they clout chasers themselves. Look at the uh, uh the COs that, that was uh 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 housing uh OJ. 
they all tell you all kind of stories about OJ. Cause I did some time up there. They all want to tell you about OJ. This oh, you want she's gonna have favor with them COs up there. They they gonna give her all the extras that they can give her. All right, Bobby G. Why do you think that the um the judge was so compelled to to sympathize with her? Do you what's what's because going on with that? Paid by the union. Okay, because she's identifying with being um, a police officer and she was a prosecutor for a long time as well. January, what do you think? Is Does that make you think that, how is somebody gonna get a fair trial? What's with the impartiality if a judge is going to show literal sympathy to somebody who has just been convicted of murder? Does that give you any faith in the judicial system? Um, no, I really never had faith in the judicial system. I was like, who had faith in the judicial system? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just in case, just in case. I was just asking, you know what I mean? I was just asking. But yeah, you guys, and so, and, and I just don't like the magnitude of it, and I want to ask again, and, and let's take everybody in that picture, and let's flip the script. Let's say the judge was white, let's say the the bailiff was white and 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 i'm going to leave the brother out of it because it would have never happened <laughs> no how would how would people react how would we be reacting if they were white people and, and i heard what you said earlier bobby g we'll be like oh we'll, be well talking we would shit. expect it it's, it's still salted shit. it's still salted but this was just yeah. an extra slap in the face that's what it was yeah it's just they an extra white slap white in the face. Would have been Do you think if the white lady hugged the black girl and you'd be like, oh, she trying to, you know, uh, uh, get chasing clout or, you know, doing it just for TV or, you know what I'm saying? People would have been talking shit if it was the other way around, though. Same yeah, way. I, yeah, if it was the other way around, what I'm asking is, do you think that the, the, um, the response to it, because it is a response to it, it is a response like, what is the judge doing and what is that what is that bailiff doing um it's, it's getting a side eye and what i'm trying to yeah. ask is do you, do you guys think it would be even more of an uproar if they were white would you absolutely think I, I, absolutely uh it, it, now if they were white we'd be like see i told you but just by them being black it, it, it's like a, it's like a script man they 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 did a black judge and, and they show all the black people in there showing their sympathy to to calm the rest of us down. Like, look, it's not that uh -huh. bad, y'all. It was it was a simple right. mistake. I think it's two she different types of things. It's yeah, two she, different she, types of things. And yeah, so one like, is like, what the fuck are y'all doing? One is like, what, what, why why is this happening? What is this? What a point do y'all have to prove? And so it's you like I said, it's it's, it's a slap in the face. Had it been a white judge and a white bailiff, I think it would have been all of our inside thoughts, you know, coming to fruition. Like he's okay. like uh, uh, Bobby said, like, I told you, I knew it. I know I'm not tripping. They end the shit together. We need to be on cold more. Like, I think, I don't know if it would have been a, more of an uproar. Maybe. Yeah. It it was a script. And, and you see how it softened up the jurors, even though they say, oh, we have five black jurors. Well, the jurors are seeing all this like, man, we can't really max her out on those sentence. Like, er everybody Shit, I would have been in that room. <laughs> how could you feel sorry for her? Or how could you not feel sorry for her? You Shit, like, I would have been an asshole in that room. Y'all tripping. I, look, look, mm -hmm. one, one thing about them courtrooms is when you are the defendant, they de dehumanize you to the point where the jurors... And even your family sometimes will look at you like, that man's the devil. But by all that <laughs> compassion and sympathy they showing her, they showing like a, it was a regular person that committed a, a, a mistake. This could happen to anybody. Yeah, you know I mean, and that's that's not that's irregular for that to all happen. Right. All right, look right here. We got um, Aaron Hicks says, okay, Bobby said a lot about the sentencing having to do with wait about about the sentencing having to do with the jury being moved by the hug and all that. The judge had the final say in sentencing no matter what. If she was a sympathizer, she would, let me hit hit more, she would have been 
she had she would have been before or after. All right, if I say that clear, Aaron, let me know. I'll be trying to read them. No, they she Go chose ahead. for the jurors to sentence her, so the judge didn't have anything to do with it, right? She just is there. Yeah, yeah, the judge was the overseer of it. The judge was like uh, j just maintaining order and, and making sure everything hit, hit, hit. Yeah, but they said because place. Amy, they said because Amy or whatever her name is, they said she asked. I keep calling her Amy judge. too. It's Amber. I stay calling her Amy. Amber, uh, Amber, Amy. Amy. Why, why I want to call, call her Amy? Her Amy. I'm glad to know I'm not the only yeah. one. She requested for the jurors to sit in her, right? So. The judge would the judge be able to overturn what they what? chose in that no. situation? If she chose to have them censor, because that's what happened. She chose before the trial started to have the jurors give her her sentence. Yeah, I I, I don't think the uh, judge can overrule your your initial uh, uh, plea because that's like part of the the uh, them finding her guilty is either have the judge hang you or have the jury hang you. And, and that's what the jury came up with. That's why. That's another reason why. Uh, uh, it, 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 to me, it just seemed orchestrated because now, if you would have put it all on the judge to do this, and the judge hit her with a ten-year sentence, we would have go crazy. But uh -huh. since they like the the jury sentenced her, uh, <laughs> we don't even know the uh, the guidelines that was read to the jury on the sentencing structure. We don't know if the jury was told, look, she only can get sentenced between this many years and that many years, or you know what I mean? That's what I want to know. Like, what was the max on the sentences and what was the uh, the minimum? The max was 20 years. I think and, the max the was minimum, 20 years. And the minimum was what? Well, right. maybe the max might have been 50, I think. The max was 50 because the news was saying today they actually thought they were going to at least give her 20. But she came back with ten. Even the news yeah, said they I, thought that she was gonna get twenty. I think her her um the prosecution was pushing for I think twenty seven or twenty nine years, one of the two. And a lot of the time the judge goes with the recommendation of the prosecution. So let me ask yeah. you guys this: her being a police That's officer, a how much do you guys think that that had to do with all the 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 treatment going on in court? What do you think, Bobby? Oh. Bobby E. Man, that 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 was uh, a lot of where the compassion came from because of like 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 this is somebody they stick together that that's upheld to the to the top to the top level of the pedigree of you're supposed to conduct yourself lawfully at all times. Now you telling me this lady talking about she was drunk or she had a drink? Wasn't you just driving for one? Where you had a drink at downstairs before you got up here? You 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 walking around with a loaded pistol? And, and, and you drunk? Like this is some? Not all this is accounted for. You walking into somebody else's house, and you and you are officer yourself, but you want a ten year sentence. So that means a regular fellow small like myself, if I'm in the same situation as her, I should get less time than her, right? But my thing is, when I walk into my house, I feel an aura of. This is my shit. Like I know she had to feel. I walked in the wrong place before and immediately knew I was in the wrong place. Yeah, you know I thought you were the wrong car. It looked just like my car on the outside, popping that bitch. I was like, this is not my vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. at all. Uh, like real. Uh, in, the like, in the comments, we have uh, Majad Jamal Ali. He says, "Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice." All right. And he also says, "Lord, have mercy on our souls." Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. They what ain't gonna have. Here. See, what hey, also trips me up about this case, show. people forget about the aftermath. I'm sorry, not the aftermath, but what she did post shooting him. She did not call. To, he was he he, he could have been rushed. Either. Yeah, she didn't render <laughs> aid either. So you you shoot somebody, you like, oh shit, I just shot somebody. This is not. Where is my purse? This is not right. my shit. Yeah, yeah. She I, had I need to call somebody. This this. Poor yeah. man has been shot. I made a terrible mistake. You're like, oh shit. Right. Okay, what I'm gonna do? Uh, what did she do? Yeah. What did she do? You, you, you hey, she, she probably, she 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 probably she, set the stage. No, she, she probably called, set she, the scene up. She she called she one of her um former one of her partners, somebody that she used to ride with, and um and you know that's what she did. She didn't render him any aid, and she did have the stuff to render aid. She had first aid with her, 
because if you watched any of the testimony, she was saying how she had to bring her gear with her, her backpack with all her stuff. And that was a big part of the trial. They were saying that they did not render her aid. Talia Marie says, all that, compassion, all that compassion had the jurors feeling sorry for her and might have weighed on the final decision slash verdict. Let me ask Absolutely. you guys this. Oh, wait. Tyrell, let me ask you something. Speak on. Can I say something real quick? Absolutely. Um, why? Um, another thing that this ties into them hugging her and stuff. I mean, you know, to me, being my race comes first, you know. So they proved that she had some damn text messages where she was saying, like, racial things. And so for that to come out on the court as a fact, actual text messages, as a fact for our people of color to really embrace her like that. That's like putting your, you know, well, your career well, above where, where well, you really come from. Well, here, let me say this real quick. What I saw about the, the um, the uh, they showed some of her social media posts on her from her Pinterest account. Pinterest account. And they, they just yeah, seem to be far, um, far right wing yeah. rhetoric type of things, like you know. And so you can classify that however you want. But that's yeah. what I got from it. Go ahead, Bobby. Bobby, hey, hey, she a white woman in Texas, man. I, I, I expect her to be racist. Yeah, you know I man. You got, you got it. for nowadays, man. For you not to be racist, you are gonna have to overstep your boundaries to show me you're not. Because off top, I'm gonna assume you are, even if you're. If you're not openly racist, you uh your opinion is projected only by what you know. So like some people say, oh uh uh I I got I got three black friends. That's 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 kind of racist to me because you have not really identified with us. Them three black friends are probably trying to identify with you and try to fit into your circle. So you don't know too much about us. So that right there in itself is a uh, uh, I, I mean, that's society in whole, though. Most of us are races of the other race anyway, because we all have our, our pre uh, uh, judgments on them. So I'm quite yeah, so I sure. Think prejudice, uh, not racist. And those yeah, yeah, are not prejudice. synonyms. Well, well was, yeah, was, yeah, this, those was, was this a, was this a race thing or a or a um, or a blue shield thing? Because it's not. Those aren't they were mutually all black. exclusive. Well, it was a both okay. thing. Yeah, them, um, them, them two things go hand in hand to me. The uh the blue shield and the uh the race thing because the blue shield pretty much uh targets certain races. Okay. Yep. Frank Gardner the third, what's going on? I, good looking, Ricardo, Ricky Tripp. What's going on? Go ahead, Bobby G. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say in response to your question that um I kind of feel even more than her being a cop though, her being a blonde haired petite white That's woman it. matters to people because people care about optics right and so Absolutely. society has been conditioned to fear the black man you whatever whatever your bill whatever your stature whatever your age and i tell my son this all the time he's he's 13 he just made 13 this summer people don't he's my height and i'm five five people don't look at him like, oh, there's a 13-year-old kid right there. He's a big black man, a big black uh -huh. man. Uh, he's If somebody described him, and he's already been, you know, uh, um, approached and stopped before or whatever, doing simple stuff. So they don't say, like, oh, look at this kid walking his dog. There's there's this six, five, six, seven um, um, brown skin, and he's light. He's high yellow. This brown skin... Um, um, big ass Afro, uh, black guy outside my house. I think he's lurking right. outside my house. My son's not lurking. He's walking his dog. So we're mm. taught, we're trained, we're conditioned to fear Absolutely. the black man. And then we look at these white women, frail, and there are these dan uh, damsels in distress. And so Andrea Yates is not a demon. She was forced to have children that she did not want. She is the victim in this. So yes, yeah, she went to jail, but that's terrible. This is so unfortunate that this happened to her. She's also a victim. Is she's an offender, but she's also a victim. Casey Anthony showed like no remorse, and she was acquitted. Down in Florida. Because Isn't damn, I hate to see this white woman go to jail. She doesn't deserve that. 
Uh-huh. It's white women who have committed heinous crimes, and the public just looks at them like, oh, man, that's a shame. I mean, I know they're wrong, but that's just really unfortunate that that happened this way. I just really, it's tragic, really. But when uh-huh. it's us, when it's us, it's, I mean, because what was, it was one kid, the uh, the another a young young uh, teenager from uh, Florida, his his killer did not apologize and said he probably stopped him from ki- – he was unarmed. He did nothing wrong. He was you in his car. Trayvon? Listening to music too loud. Not Trayvon. He was in oh, his Oh, the music is loud, yeah. Yeah. And this word. man, also convicted, but this man said he, he, probably just, he probably just stopped him from killing somebody else. He's done a good thing. Yeah. And so I think that played a bigger role, that we look at white women, and I'm not saying you or me, and, you know, I'm saying society yeah, as a yeah. whole. That's society. White women in general. are giving right. grace yeah. and so, mercy. Especially a blonde, right? Uh, 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 that, that's like Especially cool. a blonde. You, cool. have no, you have no place <laughs> in the criminal system, on, on, on the wrong side of the criminal system. You have been wronged here. You have been – that we – we it's are a mistake. To look at them like you must have been uh, uh, served injustice. This is a miscarriage of justice. Hey, because you know what kind of got me through off for a whole loop. Anytime uh, 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 a crime is committed and, and it's and it's displayed publicly through the media about black people, they go dig up some of the worst stuff. They they oh, throw it out there. Oh, have to be a crime. We could literally be the victim, and you'll still hey, find they, our mugshot. Uh, Absolutely. Hey, you could be the one killed. Oh, he was a felon. But hmm. with, with, with her case is the media pumped her story from the get-go of what she said happened. They they pumped that story, pumped that story, pumped that story. We never really heard what the evidence pointed to because usually they'll go by what the evidence say. You'll hear our story after we've been convicted and tried and whatnot. But all right, yeah, but, we've, but we've her, been dead for fucking fifty years. Like, oh, you know what? Turns out Earl was innocent. You, hey, huh. hey, Geronimo Pratt was he? Geronimo Pratt was even in the state when the, uh, uh, the com- murder was committed. They found that out twenty years later. They released him. So, so it's just like with with her and her situation. We heard her side from the get go, but we never really heard the full evidence until it started getting slowly leaked, slowly leaked. So mentally, uh, 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 the society and the public, their mind is already distorted by what she said was the truth is the facts. When, when in actuality, man, it, it, it's always more to the story, but they're going to glorify their side of the story every time. And, and that's what you pretty much see. Okay, here, let me get to this right here. Uh, Donnell Thomas, uh, let the ball bounce sports talk radio again. You guys go check him out. And you guys share this too if you're watching. Donnell says, the self-hate displayed in that courtroom was nothing short of disgraceful. I've been in law enforcement 15 years, but never once have I forgotten that I'm black. We're told to forget slavery and forget Black Uh Wall Street. But remember 9-11. FOA uh-huh. says we got to uh-huh. peep. We got to peep what's going on here. All right. Uh-huh. Hey, hey Donnell, you hate Whoopi Goldberg lips because they black, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, but <laughs> but 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 mentally, that's how that's how it is. Though is is uh it is most think that they're doing a, a a service for the community when they don't realize that they're really oppressing the community. That that's 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 majority of their job is to oppress certain individuals and groups of individuals. Every black person that you see driving in a car, you 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 first thing you gonna pull me over and first thing I get asked isn't for license and registration. First question I get asked is you on probation or parole. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know I me. Mean? Right. Me... Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, but the thing is. How many uh, 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 Asians get pulled over or, or how many whites do get pulled over? Are you on probation or parole? No, they ask for license registration. Man, I see the white boys cussing them out and doing all the other little stuff. Like, ask for my license and registration and then let me tell you I'm on parole. Let me tell. First thing you want to ask, is there any guns or drugs in a car? You still haven't got my insurance yet. You looking for a cake. Can you find out how I'm doing first? Damn. <laughs> how, how about you just write my ticket? 
but all but right. this is the mentality of law enforcement. All right, hey, look, what's up, Travis K. Tron? I see you out there. Hey, you guys, look, we got somebody that got a dip, so we're gonna um we're gonna wrap it Thanks up for here. Having me. We're gonna wrap right. it up in a second, but before we dip, make sure you let everybody know where to find you, Bobby G. You can find me at um, right on Bobby G. That's W R I T E B O B B I G on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else. Y'all look out for me um, at the top of next year for my for my series. I am not okay. I am not okay. Okay, what is wait, hold okay. on? What's that about? I like that. I like that. What's that about? Oh, okay. So I, you know me. I have a I'm a strong advocate for Black people and our mental health. And okay. I believe the only way to solution is to first identify the problem. And two two parts about this right here. One is we have, black people have learned to normalize our pain. And so I am not in the pursuit for what is normal. I'm in pursuit for what is healthy. Because right. normal is not getting along with the person you share a child with. Normal is having baby mama, baby daddy drama, because who doesn't? You know, but that's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for your ex. It's not especially not healthy for the children. And so it's to get us to stop normalizing our pain, literally down to physical pain. We won't even go to the doctor. Mm. And I'm speaking for myself as well. I'm not at all shaming anyone. We won't even go to the doctor because, hell, right. who, who got insurance? This is expensive. I ain't got time for this. We're supposed to take off work. We don't take care of ourselves. And so one, this is just to get us to identify that, hey, there's a problem here. I need to address it. Not, oh, nigga, you ain't really depressed. Not, hey, if you just pray more, this will go away. And I am a believer. For, uh, let me say that, too. But we can't just brush all of our pains under the carpet. The other part of this and why this series is important to me is because I want to humanize the Black experience. When Black people talk about pain, we talk about uh, some fetishized uh, um, ghetto fabulous lifestyle. So people want to hear about our pain if we've been shot or know somebody who's been shot, if we got strung out on drugs, if we don't know our daddies. But mm -hmm. we have, we go through other things. We're experiencing real life. Some of us are having tr uh, trouble carrying a child to term. Some of us lost our mothers and not to anything extreme, breast cancer, heart failure. Some of us are just struggling with uh, uh, the loss of our relationships, with weight gain, regular shit, not just some some gang gang, you know, some shit you see on the wire. Not on some love and hip hop shit either. And so I want to humanize our experience, and it's not it's not for them, it's for us. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And so we can right. that when we turn to our brothers and sisters in this, we know that we're not alone. And we can also say, I see you. Do you need to talk today? I'm not going to uh -huh. walk past you and say, oh, this this person is just being a bitch right now. You're not being a bitch. You're going through You're something. Bitch. You're not just a right. ass nigga. You're going through something. Because right. before every toxic masculinity story, every toxic woman story, whatever we can say, you have a, you, you have a history. Yeah. You went through something. Something got you to this point. And that's right. what I... In this series, yeah, that's what I uh, intend to expose. That's what I hope people receive from it. And I just mm. want to get the conversation going. So y'all look out for me. And thank you for giving me that time to say that. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Got, thank got you. Plug thank you. you. Look, right, right, right. Long plug. <laughs> My 30 we seconds. 30 you. Look, before you go, this is going to be the question I ask them. Just give us your answer and go on sure. and deal. Have you ever seen a courtroom allow a witness or someone testifying, go hug someone who is just convicted of murder. Have you ever seen it in your life? No. I have, okay. So I have heard of the uh, family of the victims extending their, their empathy, but mm -hmm. not in scenarios like this. Yeah, not in court. It's when, it's when, um, and even if it's in the courtroom, you know, maybe in their, in their, when they're addressing the court or they're addressing the, the defendant, but it's not in situations like this. I've seen people literally jump over the, the uh, barrier right, to attack yeah. the person that has murdered their loved one. Because it's one thing to say like, hey, this was all a very messy situation. My, my brother died in a car accident and you were driving it. You know, you can yeah. say like, okay, we've all done dumb shit. This shit got extreme. 
And for right. that, you may be able to forgive and even forgive publicly. Because, like, shit, I used to drive around with you. This just went terribly wrong. Right. But it's another thing for someone to not even, you're not, she's not even sorry. She's sorry she got, she's in this position. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry yep. that she got, that she's somehow in trouble. That she's she got caught. Pain. Right. She's not painting over this lost life. She is like, y'all really talking about life. Y'all ruined really my life. Y'all ruined my life. Because like wasn't in the beginning, like, oh, wasn't in the beginning she, she said was her apartment? the time to render aid. So no, I, that is unheard of. Someone, how you can embrace someone who is not atoning with you. That's that's amazing. So I don't, as far as the legality of that, or if that's protocol to allow the family to actually physically touch the uh, uh, defendant. I don't know. I'm not going to say this is a precedent or anything like that. I just know I don't. I've never heard of any sort of love being shown in circumstances like right. this. Like I said, I've seen niggas jump over barriers to beat ass. That's right. what I have and, seen. And they got it. You got a sneak attack. You can never just, just, just walk up and just embrace the. Pr I've never seen it. Yeah, which and, me, I'm sorry. Which to Bobby yeah. was saying about it being orchestrated. Now that point is true. I wanted. Was anybody on edge as he was coming forward, or were we, was this already discussed? Did he pass a note and say, "I want to hug her"? No, he said, he, 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 he said, "Hey, awesome. hey, nigga, he said, can doing? I hug her, please? Please, can I hug her?" That's how he asked. Like, can I hug her, hey, please? Please, I, can I, I hug her? Like, and the judge said yes. Yeah. I want to and hug the judge was in tears. That's what they should have done. They should have just all gotten on a group hug. The judge <laughs> was literally in party. tears. <laughs> but, hey, Bobby G, I know you got to <laughs> run, so I want to tell you thank you. I appreciate you coming on. Love when you come on. Always love your perspective. I appreciate you. Good night, y'all. Uh, be blessed. Right. Nice to meet you. All right. And so look, Bobby E in January, let's talk about that real quick. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on and dip oh. after this. We're going to go on right. and dip. The, the, look, I have been to court before. You know what I'm saying? I have had to sit there. I turned to look at my family. They're like, turn around. Turn around. Hey, you cannot <laughs> you, do it. You can't look at your family. You can't, you, look, you can't even whisper. You can't be like, I love you. You can't hey. do nothing. nothing. They let this woman freely walk around, walk to hug <laughs> his brother. After that, even when she was sentenced, they let her just walk out of court. No yep. handcuffs. Hey. Clear, Bobby. That's e. the benefits hey. of being a cop. That's hey. the benefits of the cop. Special treatment. Hey, no, no. Hey, Jamer, I'm sorry. I can't, I gotta disagree with that. That's the that's the uh uh uh, uh the privilege of being a white cop. Cause I even if that was a black cop that went and killed a white boy, that would not have happened. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? So I, look, I, look. So you're so you think that them saying the, the the bailiff, the um the judge, you think you think they would have treated a black woman? differently than Amber Geiger? Do you think that oh, they would have yeah. showed a black woman with this that was the officer the same story? Now let's flip it. And Amber Geiger is black. Do you think that hey. the judges would have treated her? And the judge is still black. Hey, hey. hey. Amber Geiger. Alan uh, Stevens, uh, peace uh, family. If, if, if it was if it was Letitia Williams, Letitia okay, would have okay. got about 30 years to do. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, no oh, Okay, so you saying that the judge, so look, is that some sort of, um, are you saying it's some sort of implicit bias? Well, 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 well like, I, like I was saying earlier. Uh, <laughs> but the judge will be uh, black. But, but even even if it, yeah, yeah, it would be black, but this is what I'm saying, though. <laughs> That's what I'm it, saying. It, 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 if everything was flipped, they would have held that black woman accountable to the highest pedigree that they could have because we're looked at, we're already looked at people who are failures and make mistakes. So we, they would have been like, we knew you was, we, we knew this was going, you was going to do something like this. Cause this is, I kinda this is, think, I don't know. I kind of think I, it might've been kind of the same. If she was in a position as an officer, the judge is black, the bailiff is black. I, I still think that police get special treatment in certain situations. Oh, and it might be in certain okay. cities. It might not be in every city. You know what I'm saying? But 
I feel that if she was a black police officer and it was the same scenario, same black judge, I think you know, it might have been the same outcome. It might have been. Okay. So, so you're saying it's more of a police officer thing since she was a cop, not the simple fact that she was white. Yeah, she was. She served our country. She served our city. It, you know. it, it, it was the whole the, the thin blue line that they were holding right there and then. I, I got a hypothetical question for you there, January. Uh oh, we got the hypothetical. Get ready. Uh, if that was <laughs> one woman who wasn't a cop, would it have still been the same? In your opinion? I don't believe, I don't, I don't believe they would have hugged her and stuff like that if she was just a regular. I don't think it would have went down like that. They made all her people that were on the stand. Have you like all her friends that spoke? Like they were making like she was just this loving. You know, and, and the, yeah, the, yeah. the drug head, the drug lady, they didn't got, she didn't help the, the drug lady get clean and she didn't put her on the stand. She black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, they was making, they was already building her up to be this girl that was just like, we just don't know why she would do this, but it was a she was an upstanding was honest, citizen. Right. Yeah. That's how they did it. I yeah. think that is it was no? sad, though. Hey, you guys, I think we did a good job. I think we covered every element of it. Let me see. We talked about the judges embrace. We talked about the courtroom decorum. Again, I have never in my life seen some of these things allowed in court. And I'm not just hey, talking yeah. about as the visitor. I'm talking about as the person sitting in the chair. You, Bobby, right. you know what I'm saying. January, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You sit hey. there. And you, hey. you're nervous and you're mad and you're frustrated. You look back hey. at your family and be like, turn around. Look, hey, look. I've never I seen nobody know. put nobody here in court. And I personally know you can't yawn wrong in the court. You, can, you that's can't. That's my point. <laughs> I get instantly <laughs> nervous in court. It don't matter if I'm there for a ticket. I'm I'm still taking them off bridges. I don't trust them. Hey, well, man. All right. Well, look. Let me ask you, hey, Aaron, oh, man, we got a Aaron didn't, that swapped in. Look, you guys, look. I didn't Fresh even know you were going on. Fresh from the East Coast, I asked, this, it's not Aaron, it's Aaron. Aaron, <laughs> we come on earlier. He's painting the town somewhere in the East Coast. Aaron is a buddy of mine. Aaron, you've been listening. I was going to wrap it up, but I want you to just, I know it's something you want to say. Go ahead and ask it. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying, sentencing and the verdict, two very different things. The verdict is given by the jury, the sentencing is given by the judge. Now, I know that y'all were saying, oh, the judge said early on that the jury is gonna do the sentencing, but that is, the, that, the word is not being used correctly. At the end of the day, they don't get to say, hey, you get 10 years, hey, you get 20 years. It's not like- That's what they did today, she said that, the judge No, did. no, 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 I understand what you're saying. I'm saying, okay, so, so, between you and me, if I said pick a number between one and ten, there's only one in ten chance we pick the same number. You know what I'm saying? So how did a group of people all plan on doing this one number? That, that, that was the question I had earlier, Aaron, was the stipulations that was given to Yeah, they the gave jury. them a choice or something. Yeah. There's because, no way uh, that a group, what is it? How many jurors is it? Like, so, so Aaron is saying there's no way that a, a, a jury of 12, 10, 5, or 4 uh, all yeah. come up with the same number. So Aaron is saying, average it all? If one of us can agree that th this shit is out there, then how is it that 12 people all together somehow were like, yeah, 10 years is good. That's, there's no way it went, and especially because when you are, okay, so when you're given the verdict, the guilty or not guilty verdict, everyone has to agree, or it's a mistrial. Everyone right. has right. to agree. So in that same sense, you really think everyone agreed on her being guilty and then turned right back around and said, oh, but she doesn't deserve real time. To me, someone in that room thought the bitch was guilty if everyone agreed, you know? Okay. Well, okay. Well, Aaron, well, that, Aaron on here talking about, hey, you guys better uh check your fun facts first. <laughs> we we interrupted his vacation for him to come give us some facts, some some some, some stuff. And hey, you guys, if you're watching, go look it up for yourself. I wouldn't believe none of them. Nobody, nobody on here. Go yeah. Look it up. <laughs> Aaron, look, 
do you think it was fair? Was the 10 years fair? I mean, no. It, I, everyone's acting like this is just some common mistake you can make. I can't walk into my neighbor's house and kill his dog and not serve time. I mean, how the okay. fuck? That doesn't make no sense. I'm, I mean, straight up. All right. Well, what about the um the part about all the hugging and the embrace? What do you think about that? Was that something okay? So I don't feel for? like that. I don't feel like that had anything to do with the sentencing. I think that is something that had to be discussed beforehand. There's no way that after she was found guilty, they then came and said, "Hey." This is the normal sentence for this. I guarantee you at the beginning when they decided the jury was going to do yeah. the sentencing that they said, okay, and here is, if it's guilty, this is what it's going to be. And, I guarantee and, you that's how it went. Hey, hey, one thing anybody know about the justice system, if you go to trial, expect to get maxed out. Ten years is a plea deal. Ten years would have been, I take a deal. You that's, know I mean? Yeah, for sure. Years. I'm sure they offered that to not have a trial, you know? Yeah. So you done went to trial. You done spent all this money for 10 years on a murder? And I heard the, oh, I heard the state was looking I heard the state was looking for like a year for every uh, every year he'd been alive. So how the yeah. fuck do you get back down to 10? Well, Cause 24 and 10 don't sound near to me at all. Well, Aaron, no. let me ask you this. What do you That's think that. about the judge's demeanor throughout the case? It almost looked like the judge didn't want her to even be on trial. So hey, y'all y'all can't pretend like y'all never still there. Y'all can't pretend y'all never seen a cop on trial. I mean, that shit looked the same every fucking time. I'm just being real with you. Right, that's special privileges. Mm -hmm. That shit that shit would have to be on video for anyone to for anyone to act like I mean, for us to see it that's how the whole world should see it in my eyes, but we still got people out here talking about, no, it was an accident. What the fuck? Um, all right, bro, that shit shakes me. I really does. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Aaron, come on here with the cold hard facts. I don't I don't want to say what state that my guy is in because he knows a lot about the court system, and so it makes me think he might be on the run. So I'm not gonna say <laughs> what he is. Um Hey, you know they do I... sorry. Go ahead. You know they decriminalize weed. They decriminalize weed in New York. Oh, see, are you telling us where you are? It sounds like. Hey, hey, I smoked a hey. joint. Now. I smoked a joint on the streets of New York today. This shit was lit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he in a big house. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was in Times Square, dog. I, I swear, bro. Oh, Don, Donnell Thomas says the officer in the the officer in the Oscar Grant case served eighteen months. See, bro, okay, y'all brought up the Zimmerman thing earlier. There were people wearing Zimmerman shirts and shit through the trial. You know, yeah. like like when you talk about the media buffing it up, bro. That's exactly what happened to me. This is one of those things. You see this fucking episode on Law and Order? Oh, the bitch is guilty and she going to jail for the rest of her life. But because this is some shit that, I mean, you know, it's funny to say this. It's some shit you would see on TV, and it's actually on TV. Uh -huh. no? <laughs> Made for TV, and it's on TV. All right. I get it. I get it. And so, hey, look. Story January, book you got something on your mind down there? You, you, you said you, 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 you're done. I see you over there looking. What's going on, January? Um, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right well look Aaron go ahead look we're gonna do this real quick everybody just give me your final thoughts on this let me know what you think and where people can find you I'll start with you January and if you want you go ahead and shake your tail feather and dip on out I see you she's like I'm tired I'm tired we started late <laughs> It's almost it's almost midnight here in in, in Texas yeah January. My, son, my son act like he don't want to go to sleep till I go to sleep he don't want to. He chilling. He should have. He should have been on so vice tonight. <laughs> right. Give us your give us your final yeah, thoughts yeah. And, and let the people uh, know where to find you. And and look, I'm trying to get January to come jump on the radio with me. And I want to, but, I but, but she's hard to find. Go ahead, January. No, whatever. I'm ready. Um, I just want to say everybody should love one another. There's one love. Peace to everybody. Right. Can we all get along? Yes. You can find me at January Angel on Facebook, underscore January, underscore Angel on Twitter. 
And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. I'm out of here. Peace. Peace. Drop Peace. the mic. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Uh, All right. Bobby, give us your thoughts on this. Give us your final thoughts on this, man. Like, where, where are you getting out of this? The, 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 the whole, not just the trial, but the reaction to the hugs, the embrace. What is this letting you know about the system? Hey, man, uh, it, it's been before all of this. This is just further uh, uh, confirming my, my thoughts I had on this previous. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's a fake system that's designed to go against uh, uh, the majority of the people. And uh, only, only a handful of people actually benefit from the system. And that the system will continually to uh, uh, embrace certain others with uh, their grace when they make a mistake than they would with uh, someone like me, Aaron, or yourself commit the same type of crime, man. Uh, uh, I think, this, like I was saying earlier, the statistics is 20%. This is male on male. If a black man is sentenced to something, or, or a black man commits a crime and a white man commits a crime, and it's pretty much the same crime, 20% chance that that black man is going to get a harsher sentence. No, it's going to be a 20% harsher sentence for the black man than it is the white man. So Damn, that was it, much it, better the first time you said it. I'm just saying, fuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? It, it's going to be worse. Go, so, go back to the mistake. Check. Look, 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 <laughs> I'm going to tell you all like this, man. Best thing to do is to stay out their way, stay out of their courtrooms, man. At all costs, if you could go around something, go around it. Because once you're in their system, man, it's, it, it, it's, it's hard to get up out of there, man. But it's easy for some, and you not one. Yeah, man. All but y'all right. find Facebook, Bobby Irvin. Bobby Irvin. And we're going to have Bobby on here more. Bobby like to kick his game, and we like to catch it. Look, Delaney Hicks, Delaney, Delaney Hicks Patterson. Look, Delaney done jumped on late, and he said it so much smoother, like Aaron said the first time. Delaney, I'm coming to get some of that good food tomorrow. It's Friday. I went down there the other. I went on Monday. I think y'all was closed. We're gonna have to talk about that. That's Larry and Laney so full. Aaron, you in Houston, you better go. Well, you you on the run right now, so you're not <laughs> here right now, but you know, uh, when you're not on the lamb, you make sure you go to Larry and Laney. But Aaron, give us your final thoughts, let the people know where to find you and stuff, and I want to give you the final thought because you came in last and you got to hear what everybody said. So you go ahead and correct everybody the way you want to. And, <laughs> nah, and, it's not a, it's not nobody said like that to you. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I just well first off, I'm I just want to apologize. I didn't see your invite ahead of time. I would have been on here much sooner. But I just want to say there's nothing wrong with believing in a system that is built in place to protect you. There's nothing wrong with people who want to believe in the police system. I mean, at the end of the day, if it's not going anywhere, shit, what else can you do but try and believe and try and believe it's going to get better. But at the same time, there is also nothing wrong with me believing in a police officer and also holding them to a higher standard. You, 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 walk around, you walk around the city with a gun on your hip and permission to use it on me. I should have every right to expect you to be smarter than me, to make better decisions than me. Okay. Okay. All the way, all the way from a disclosed location. <laughs> My guy Aaron on the run giving advice. But hey, you guys, look, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Aaron, thanks for making the time to pop on, man. I do know that you were over, um, you were actually having a good time painting the town red. And um, I do want to thank you for jumping on. Bobby, thank you for jumping on, doing your thing. Shaw Rice, I see you just popped up. You're a little late. Go back and watch it. Donnell, again, thank you for watching. You guys go check him out. Let the ball bounce in sports radio. And then, too, look, real quick, shameless plug. I'm doing anonymous letters to my ex. If you got an ex out there and you want to write something to your ex, you could be talking about your next. You could be talking about whatever. You could be saying, I love you. I hate you. I never really wanted to be with you. I liked your brother the whole time. Your sister was great. You ruined my life. You made my life better. 
You know what? I really didn't like kissing you because you smelled like Funyuns. Whatever it is, send it in. We're going to put it together. We're putting it in a book. We're going to publish the book. It's called Anonymous Letters to My Ex. It's all a lot anonymous, so your anonymity will be there. Nobody will know who you are. Um, we have a, a, a Facebook site for it. It's called Anonymous Letters to My Ex. Go, like it, do the dang on thing, be a part of it. And um, and don't be like Aaron. Don't be on the run. Just be a part of it. But I need to thank you guys, everybody, for tuning in, everybody for being all the guests. Ernest Walker, I see you. Ernest Walker of the Black Cross. They, they do some good stuff. You guys check out some of Share, share, share. Sharing is caring. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to leave you guys with this. It's going to be the testimony. And then we're going to get out with a little bit of Soapbox Heroes music. But we got to go. Much love. Peace. I don't want to say twice or for the hundredth time what you've or how much you've taken from us. I think you know that. But I just... I hope you go to God with all what all the guilt all the thing the bad things you may have done in the past each and every one of us may have done something that we're not supposed to do if you truly are sorry I know I can speak for myself I I forgive you and I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. And I don't think anyone could say it. Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not gonna say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see, I, I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you because I know that's what that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. And the best would be give your life to Christ. That's, I'm not going to say anything else. I think giving your life to Christ would be the best thing that both of them would want you to do. Again, I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Please? Yes.